हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सक्सेस एजुकेशन टुडे विल बी डूइंग द वर्कबुक सॉल्यूशन फॉर इंग्लिश फॉर स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स यूनिट नंबर फाइव दैट इज़ इन्वेंशन बिफोर दैट इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल टिल नाउ प्लीज टू सब्सक्राइब इट फॉर मोर वीडियोस सो विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद द क्वेश्चन आंसर्स फर्स्ट वन हाउ कैन यू से दैट एडिसन हिमसेल्फ डिड नॉट इन्वेंट लाइट बल्ब वी कैन से दैट एडिसन हिमसेल्फ डिड नॉट इन्वेंट लाइट बल्ब बिकॉज He solved out the problems of earlier inventions by other people and finally bettered the bulb that could last long. Second, who invented the printing press and the telephone? Johannes Gutenberg invented the printing press and Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. Third, what is the general tone of the given prose extract? The given prose extract reads that We give credit to just one person for any invention but it is always joint efforts that is a team work Now second paragraph question answers first one what do the famous inventors do the famous inventors uh, see the problem and try to solve them out to make such a product as could uh, uh, last long right second what was the problem with the light bulb invented by other inventors the light bulb invented by other inventors did not last long enough or could not be made cheaply so that many people could not have them third one give the antonyms of first one famous notorious second cheaply expensively now question number 2 true or false first second and third are true fourth one is false fifth one is true sixth and seventh are false and eighth one is true now activity 4 question answers first one what kind of invention is smart bell smart bell is such an invention of a door bell that fools burglars into thinking somebody is at home in an empty house second How is the regular doorbell usually answered? Usually the ringing of the doorbell is answered by opening the door to admit the visitor waiting at the door. Third, what may happen in the UK in in case of burglars? In case of burglars, if no one answers the doorbell, the burglars may go into the empty house and steal things. Now question number 2 MCQs first one this prose extract is it is option number c a newspaper report second lawrence rook is it's option number a a british boy of 13 third lawrence rook's invention of a doorbell it is option number b fools burglars fourth the owner of the house answers the doorbell by it is option number d opening the door to admit the visitor fifth one if no one answers the doorbell it's option number b the visitor will go away sixth if no one answers the smart bell the smart bell it's option number c does something special seventh if burglars ring the doorbell and no one answers the burglars may it's option number d go into the empty house and steal things now question number 3 that is true or false and that first and second are true third and fourth are false and fifth one is true now activity 7 question answers first one how can you say that the smart bell invention became very popular we can say that the smart bell invention became very popular because a newspaper of england published a report on it second what happens if no one from inside the house answer once the bell is pressed if no one from inside the house answers till 10 seconds after the bell is pressed the smart bell dials the owner's mobile phone third with the use of existing mobile phone technology what does the smart bell do with the use of modern technology the smart bell itself dials the owner's mobile number after 10 seconds of pressing the bell switch it can also create a small amount of white noise now second paragraph question answers first one What kind of sound does the white noise make the smart bell produce? The white noise makes the smart bell sound like the owner is inside the house talking on an intercom. Second, 
Why does the visitor not doubt that the owner is not at home? The white noise in the smart belt doesn't sound like a mobile phone, so the visitor cannot tell the owner is not at home. Third, how did Lawrence get the idea of inventing the smart bell? Lawrence's mom did not like to miss deliveries while she was away from home. To help her out, Lawrence created a way to talk to delivery workers even when she was not home. And the same idea could keep the burglars away was his latter thought. Now, third paragraph question answers. First one. How will the smart bell help to prevent burglary? When the owner of the house is out and a burglar presses the doorbell to find out whether the house is empty or not, in that case, after 10 seconds, the smart bell will ring through to the owner's mobile phone and he will be able to answer, the burglar will never know the house is empty. Second, when did the idea of smart bell by Lawrence come into light? Lawrence came up with idea of the smart bell when his school asked the students to enter a contest for student inventions. Third, what did Lawrence do to show his idea? Lawrence drew designs to show his idea. Now, question number two that is MCQs. First one, when the smart bell is pressed and if no one answers after 10 seconds, it is option number A. It soon dials the owner's mobile phone. Second, the white noise makes the smart bell sound like it is option number B and intercom. Third, Lawrence's mom did not like uh, to miss deliveries while she was away from house. It is option number C. Fourth, from the idea to help her mom, Lawrence got another idea that his device, it's option number C, could stop burglars. Fifth, the burglar will not know the house is empty because soon after 10 seconds, it is option number A, the owner of the house will be able to answer through his mobile phone. Sixth, what did Lawrence do to show his idea? It's option number A, drew designs. Seventh, where was Lawrence's idea taken for materializing? It's option number C, to a company that made working models from designs. Now, question number three, true or false? And that first one is true. Second one is false. Third one is true. Fourth, fifth and sixth are false. Seventh one is true. Eighth one is false. False. And ninth and tenth are true. Now, grammar part. Firstly, we'll see punctuations. Question number one is, there are mistakes of spelling, punctuation and capitalization in this text. Can you correct them all? So you can see the paragraph and complete in your workbook. Right. Now the second one is the person typing the following text was too lazy to type capital letters or make spaces. Can you correct his work for him? So you can see the complete paragraph. I have already completed it. All the uh, mistakes I have corrected, the spaces I have given, the capital letters, the punctuation marks, everything I have completed, you can see your uh, and complete in your workbook. Right. Next is sex change. That is change the text so that you are talking about Jane. Start like this. Her name is Jane. She means you need to change this paragraph means you need to change the, uh, the gender of the paragraph okay so you can see the paragraph and complete in your workbook right now next is indirect speech that is rewrite the sentences below in indirect speech first one she apologized for being late second he accused me of stealing the video third he begged me not to tell the teacher fourth she denied of breaking his Walkman. Fifth, she invited me to come to his party. Sixth, he ordered me to sit down and be quiet. Seventh, he suggested me to have a holiday. Eighth, he offered me to lend the money. Ninth, he admitted that he broke the window. Tenth, the doctor advised me to stop smoking. Eleventh, she reminded me to buy flowers on my way home. Twelfth, he threatened to kill me if I tell the teacher. 
13th she warned us not to play with matches 14th we agreed to meet at 7 o'clock 15th he requested or asked me to help 16th he complained about the bad weather in germany 17th she accepted the invitation and said that she will be glad to come 18th she forbade me not to open that box 19th he permitted or allowed me to close the window if i wished or if i want 28th uh, he insulted my father by comparing him with a cow now next is the direct speech first question is complete the following sentences with the person's actual words so first one the teacher said there will be a word test tomorrow second the girl said how many marks test will be there third miss hardley said it will be of 30 marks fourth the stupid boy said ma'am can i not give the test fifth the lazy student said ma'am i am not able to write now second is in the next sentence is write a question the person asks right so first is already done for you second one the principal asks have you taken your lc third the school nurse asks did you take the medicine fourth the secretary asks did you sign the file fifth the clever girl asks can i write extra questions right now question number 3 is complete the sentences below with an exclamation right first one is done for you second one the policeman yelled bring that thief now third my father yelled don't shout speak politely fourth the bus driver yelled what an accident fifth the angry girl yelled Shh, be quiet right now we'll see the writing part in that row his grandpa's routine is given with the pictures so you can see the pictures and the routine both firstly we'll see the routine then we'll see the pictures right and now write a few sentences about what rohit's grandpa does during the day so the paragraph is rohit's grandpa wakes up at 6 am in the morning he goes for a walk at 6:30 am he drinks coffee and reads a newspaper at 7:30 am he eats lunch at 10:30 am and watches during watches tv during lunch he sleeps and rests at 1 pm when rohit comes back from school grandpa helps him with his homework at 4 pm now next is the story writing you can write any of the story you like i have written beware of selfish friends right so we'll start the story as there were two friends once they set out on a journey they were passing through a forest they were frightened because the forest was full of wild animals they promised to help each other if anything bad happened suddenly they saw a bear coming towards them they were afraid one of them climbed up a tree quickly the other could not do so but he was clever he lay do- uh, down on the ground held his breath and pretended to be dead the bear came near him and smelt him thinking that the man was dead the bear went away the other friend climbed down the tree and asked what did the bear say to you the friend replied the bear want me not to trust false selfish friends the other friend felt ashamed of his behavior with his friend now next is the message writing read this dialogue then write a message from hari to sharda asking her to join them study the changes and write them down so hari will max er uh, message as hello sharda i and mohan have decided to meet at rivoli at 3:30 mohan wants to meet you too and he was asking if you could join us too please let me know if you could come thank you now next is the prose comprehension so you can see the paragraph the questions are first one gardeners use compost to its option number b break down food waste second to take care of a compost pile you have to its option number d first second and third means all third one 
people should start a compost pile if it's option number c want to put their food waste to good use fourth you should not put weeds in a compost pile because it's option number d the seeds can create new weeds in your garden fifth as used in the final paragraph sprouting most nearly means it's option number a blooming six the other apparently believes that a tomato plant is not a weed it is option number a and here we can come to the end of chapter number 5 that is invention i hope you have understood the complete chapter if you have any doubts you can write in the comment section i'll surely try to answer all the questions thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates thank you